Okay, so today we're working on a John Deere. This is a 304H model. Um, I wanted to start this video a little earlier and uh, I got sidetracked, but uh, let me show you uh, how to fix this really fast just in case you're having the same problem with yours because these parts can be pretty expensive. And the part I'm talking about is this little swivel elbow here. Um, let me show you the unit and I'll show you exactly where this is located and how you can fix the problem. This is the unit right here. All right, now basically you have two hoses that run from under the cab there, which you would access through this panel here. Um, they run down each arm there, and you can see the other one running down. Now, if you look at the other one, which is still intact, you can see that swivel right here. Now, a lot of times um, there's an O-ring inside of here that will go bad, and you'll start leaking a lot of fluid out of there, and you'll think it's the hose leaking. So I had already taken it off of this side here. Alright. Now basically what this does is it's a swivel elbow pretty much, which you know when your your arm is going up and down, it would allow this to actually pivot so it doesn't break the the hose off. Alright, but <clears throat> this was leaking out. We thought it was the hose. And I went ahead and took this off. So these parts right here, these are about $400 if you were to call it John Deere. But inside of here, I'll show you when I get it in the vise. Inside of here where it actually swivels, see ours was leaking out right underneath of this nut here. There's actually an O-ring in there. And you can access that real simple just by getting a pair of uh, snap ring pliers here. You want to lift this off like that. Be careful because those things fly all over the shop and you'll lose it. Now you should be able to pretty much push this out. Um, you can actually pull it down. I got to probably take it out of the vise here and get it out of there. There we go. All right. And if you look, you can see there's actually two O-rings in there. And that's what causes your leak when these wear down. They get dirt in there. And when this thing swivels back and forth, when you get dirt in there, it actually tears up these o-rings so we're going to try to go ahead and replace these o-rings uh, you just want to get a pick you want to get it up under there like that and you can kind of uh work this o-ring right off of there come on there's people watching Don't lose your little uh, plastic washer there either. All right, so your O-ring's off. And now you can kind of uh, get some brake clean or whatever. And we're going to spray it on here. We're going to clean all this up. And then you can fit your new O-ring back on there. And same thing for this side. You won't be able to actually pull it off over this side. Well, you probably could, but you'll probably tear this. Um, but if you're replacing it anyway, it doesn't matter. But you could just pull it off this side fish it out from over here and if you have an o-ring kit um you could pick these up from napa um you're just going to want to kind of size up your your o-ring here it looks like that's going to be it right there and it's an f-17 all right so we're going to take our first one here kind of work it around do the best i can here with uh one hand i'm going to go to our far side first All right, I got the first O-ring on. And, well, I guess I'm gonna have to take that washer off again and put it behind there. There we go, just like that. New O-rings. All right, so now I slid it back in there. Um, I used a, uh, pretty much a soft hammer. Just, and I sprayed some WD-40 down in here um, and just kind of tapped it lightly. It was a pretty tight fit going in there. I'm going to put my lock clip back on and then we're going to throw it back on the machine and see if it's still leaking or not. Alright, so I put it back together and ran the machine for a little while and we do not appear to have any leaks. So, uh, 
that was successful. So if you're having a problem with it leaking up here, that's how you take it apart. It's just a little uh, spring clip on the back. Pull it out, take the O-rings off, replace them, put it back on. And uh, that should save you 400 bucks. As always, guys, please hit that subscribe button below. I really appreciate it, and I really need to get more and more subscribers up. And uh, give me a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, what to do, Rob, at Gmail. And I'll see you next time.